Hey everybody, it's Cheryl, and I just want to welcome you back to Technique of the Week. This is week five, and I just want to real quick go over the 52 Weeks, 52 Techniques checklist that you can get by signing up for my newsletter on my website at www.muppin.com. Uh, this checklist is uh, all of the techniques that we're going to go over over the next year. And so if you are finding yourself particularly uh, uninspired and you want to just jazz up your artwork, uh, go ahead, download this checklist. You're gonna, we're going to go through them in order with these videos, but you will also be able to uh, check them off as you try them. So it's a little checklist for you to go ahead and download. Take a look at that when you get a chance. Today's project is whole cloth painted quilting. So this whole cloth painted quilt started off with just uh, quilting and it was a blue piece of fabric and I quilted it with blue thread. Now I made up the design, you can do whatever design you want. You can do a flower, you can do a landscape, but what you want to do is just, draw, it's like drawing in your design. And here's an idea of what it looked like with the thread. Now this is just the uh, the back side of this same quilt, but you can see that I drew my design in and then I quilted it. And then what you do is you come back in because it's all one color, you come back in with some fabric paint. Now I used uh, the Cita Color uh, fabric paints, but you can use any fabric paints that you have. So what I also did was used a brush that is very stiff and it doesn't have a lot of bend in the bristles and so you kind of want a stiff brush and the trick with this technique is to get as much of the paint off of the brush before you go to the surface of the quilt and then you're going to just lightly brush over the surface of the quilt and that gives uh, the raised up parts from your quilting, uh, the dimension that you see here in this quilt. So this is what's called a dry brushing technique. So again, you get most of the paint off of the brush and then you come to the surface of the quilt and just uh, paint right over it. The trick to this is that you may need to go over it many, many times in order for the paint layers to build up enough to be seen. But uh, go ahead and give this project a try. You can do this with any kind of solid fabric you already have. Maybe you have a, a real dark fabric like this one. Go ahead, quilt out a design, and then get some fabric paints and, and try this uh, whole cloth painting technique. So be sure to follow along on my blog at www.muppin.com. Also be sure to download the 52 Weeks 52 Techniques checklist by signing up for my newsletter. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you get next week's video. And we'll see you next week.